Thank you, Madam Chair. Monsieur Director General William Swing. Director General, Mr. William Swing, Your Excellencies, Honourable Panelists, Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen, I am honoured to speak to you within this discussion on human mobility, environment and climate. On behalf of the chairmanship of the Nansen Initiative, which was mentioned by our colleague from Bangladesh, the Nansen Initiative is made up of governments of Norway and Switzerland. Now, I would like to draw your attention to a migratory problem and of protection, which is growing at a global level. That is to say, the displacement of people across international borders following natural disasters. According to the Internal Displacement Monitoring Center, more than 66 million people were displaced within their countries in the period from 2008 to 2013 following natural disasters which occurred suddenly from more than 120 countries. This figure is much higher than the number of refugees and internally displaced persons who are obliged to flee persecution or armed conflict. These populations will probably continue to grow due to global warming. If we were to add displaced persons who are displaced uh, grew due to long uh, developing catastrophes such as droughts, as well as those who cross borders, this figure would be even higher. To give an example, in 2011, 290,000 Somali people fled to neighboring countries, in particular Kenya and Ethiopia, following drought, famine, and insecurity caused by conflict, as is shown by the HCR report on Somalia. Even if some regions are more impacted than others by the phenomenon, it is a global phenomenon. The risk of being displaced following a natural disaster has doubled over the last 40 years. Ladies and gentlemen, the needs of displaced persons within their own country following disasters are covered by the operational directives of the Standing Interagency Committee on uh, People Affected by Natural Disasters. However, the rights of people who are forced to flee abroad are not protected. We are particularly concerned by this group of people who are not covered by the category of traditional refugees nor of internally displaced people. So we have an urgent need to have consolidated data on displacement caused by climate change and natural disasters. We need to develop the necessary tools in order to help states protect the rights of displaced people following natural disasters. Ladies and gentlemen, IOM was one of the first stakeholders on an international level to recognize the need to adopt a global strategy to look at the processes and effects of environmental changes to predict them and adapt to them and then mitigate the results. The movement of populations and their impact on healthy migration management are essential to this strategy. We congratulate the IOM on its work in this area and encourage them to continue with their commitment. But just as the IOM has, Switzerland has also followed this new subject and has ordered new studies to obtain further information in order to put forward potential protection measures for the people concerned. During the ministerial conference organized by the HCR in December 2011 to commemorate the conventions on refugees and stateless persons, Switzerland and Norway declared itself willing to continue its commitment in this area. For Norway and Switzerland, it is 
with the work of the states uh, concerned, the HCR, the IOM, and other organizations, it is our interest to develop solutions for these trans-border movements on a regional and sub-regional level. We need to look at best practice in this area and to find a consensus on the best way to provide protection and assistance to those affected. In October 2012, the Nansen Initiative was launched to allow us to work with this commitment. It was implemented and managed by states, and it is a consultative process which will find an agreed basis for the elements to protect people who are forced to flee abroad following natural disaster. The strategic work is covered by a steering group made up of seven countries from the north and the south, Germany, Australia, Bangladesh, Costa Rica, Kenya, Mexico, and the Philippines, under the chairmanship of Norway and Switzerland. The IOM and HCR also participate there as permanent guests, and this means they can follow closely the process and give input. The operational management of the initiative is uh, assured by Professor Valder Killing, who acts as a representative of Switzerland and Norway, and between 2004 and 2010, Professor Professor Kellin acted as special representative of the Secretary General of the United Nations for the rights of people and internally displaced people. The Nansen Initiative was also created, and it is open to all interested states who want to hear more about the initiative. The group of friends meets regularly in Geneva and is chaired by Morocco and the European Union. The next meeting will take place at the beginning of 2015, and you are all heartily welcome to join us. The initiative is also assisted by a consultative committee made up of international representatives, researchers, think tanks, and non-governmental organizations. Ladies and gentlemen, in addition to working on general awareness raising, the Nansen Initiative has led five international consultations in the regions which are most affected by cross-border migration caused through natural disaster. These consultations, which come from the field, will help us to better understand the existing situations and identify the challenges and best practice. Four of these regional consultations have already taken place in the South Pacific, in Central America, in the Horn of Africa, and in Southeast Asia. The fifth and final one is planned for South Asia in 2015. Analysis has already shown that the reality of displacement brought about by natural disasters are very different from region to region. For example, in the Pacific region, the debate is more on preparation for disasters, resilience, and in the longer term, the potential transfer of populations. In Central America, the debate is more focused on cooperation, in particular to facilitate the allocation of humanitarian visas. But our work doesn't finish with regional consultation. Key aspects identified in consultation are then studied in more depth within the initiative, and that is in particular the case of uh, humanitarian visas, which will be subject of more in-depth consideration in February 2015 in Costa Rica. Ladies and gentlemen, the Nansen Initiative will soon be starting on its third and final year. In 2015, our focus will be fully on the collection and transfer of results of the regional consultation within the agenda of protection, which will be the final product of the initiative. It will be a non-binding document which will reflect a consensus on the key principles regarding the protection of, the, of those who have to flee abroad following natural disasters. The agenda will 
also structure the action to be taken in the future, both at an international level, a regional level, and a national level. So far, priorities have been identified. Firstly, a joint understanding of the problems and challenges that stakeholders face. Secondly, good practice and the instruments that better address the needs of those concerned. Thirdly, base principles on the standards which apply to people displaced to cooperation and operational responses to be given. Fourthly, recommendations on the roles and responsibilities of the concerned stakeholders, and finally, an action plan for the implementation of the protection agenda. The protection agenda will be presented and discussed during a consultation conference at global level, which will be held in October 2015 in Geneva. The agenda will be taken as a toolbox where each region can select the principles and measures that best fit their specific situations. Ladies and gentlemen, in order to produce this impact in the field, the agenda, which is a practical tool kit, must be carried and supported by states who commit themselves to that, as well as key organizations such as the IOM and the HCR. We count on your support and your presence at this conference. The conference will highlight our joint efforts in terms of improving the protection of people displaced by natural disasters and will also mark the beginning of a new stage for the implementation of the protection agenda. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ambassador.